um, I've took the lid off already and it just pushes these buttons I'm sure you, you've seen the type I've just took the lid off uh, and this is the type of lid we've got uh, with the two buttons I'm sure many of you have got this type of arrangement um, now this, this particular one um, if we get the right sort um, now the one I've just bought is, is, is called a Gegbet okay um, and this is exactly the same fit I've just bought it what you need to do is to change all of this to work okay so now it may seem a bit common I'm not going to show you it inside the system I'm going to show you the new one before we fit it because we haven't actually got to take this system off the wall to do this um, all we've got to do um, is we do a couple of clips remove the clips and it will come out now these clips are these here I'm not going to show you this so um, before on any of my other job because I've not renewed one for a while so this is our new one and all we've got to do is to change a little bit is to pull these clips in and this will remove I'll just lay my camera down a second sorry about that because I'm single-handed today and just remove these clips and as you see uh, once we've removed those clips um, it will just come straight off so once we've done that there we go we can pull it out and that reveals this piece now I already took up well I'm, I'm going to take that part out <laughs> I've already took it out I did take it out once already um, again you can see the clips down inside there it's a bit dark unfortunately so to, I'll just remove the clips uh, and this one as I put it out here we are, it's, it's out of the system now you can see it's exactly the same um, and because it's the same it does mean um, that we can just fit the center pieces straight over So here goes our new one. Okay, looking down on the hole there, it just goes over the hole, and there's a couple of side bits on there. Click, it should just click in. There you go. So you click in. You can turn it to a position you want. Okay, whichever side the buttons are on. Generally, it's there. Okay. Um, we can use that new bit. I'll just use the buttons as they are. I'd already cut and done, so we might as well put them straight back on as they are. So we'll do that bit next. So here's our lid. Obviously, these buttons just pop out, but they're all they're already cut. Um, you can just pop them out because this has just been pulled off with this all on. This was already done before I got here, so I couldn't actually get these out. But they do, they just all pop out. So I'll get that all popped out now and shoot. Okay, and there comes the other one. We'll tight grabbing out of there. Now we can take this this assembly out of the system lid and get it adjusted right. And just to show you, there's the the screw that is holding. Um, the thing in place okay so I'm going to take that off of there now that's just the adjustment screw that holds this whole assembly so if ever you need to find it it's under those two buttons there and there it is there so we'll undo him now oh, before you put your level uh, it's kind of a level indicator for the system it gets it the right height for the buttons uh, there is a wide side okay that side and there's a thinner side to this side so you have to get them around the right way okay before they go in there so line them up and then just push them down it's just you can hear it click up and down there uh, this is just to get our levels right for that for the top handle generally um, it is literally just about half an inch above that level just below I mean not that level there now uh, that should be about right for our um, knobs to go in now so we do them uh, once we're there just tighten that screw up okay that's holding the siphon in place it doesn't need much uh, make sure that these two stay level I've got, I've got to use both hands unfortunately um, so I've got to put the camera down but that's all we do okay so we do that all right then last of all that leaves us our our buttons here that go in place um, and they just they just slot in there like so okay one that side and one there we've got to get them around the right right way okay in there a little hole there you can see that in the hole down there and push it in and then push it down flat like so make sure they're operating the plunger which they sound like they are I can hear it lifting and we'll fill up the system okay so there we have it our lids back on and uh, we're all done Try the button there and we should be away take the lid off this one you notice straight away it's not screwed down if you take it off you'll see the buttons there are affixed through the lid um, and it's a different type of procedure altogether if you look at this one um, so here we have a different model and we'll put the lid down on the floor for you um, and once again we'll shut the water off um, and show you how to do this one this flash siphon is altogether different but don't worry don't threat it it looks it's, it's bolted through and at first I thought oh god it's bolted you can see the bolts through the bottom it's got to all come out but no it still doesn't have to but I will show you now why we have to make sure that um, 
you get the right one. So we'll turn the valve off there. Okay, she's off. And we'll flush the, the system. And flush her out. Put the thing on the button, let it go right to the bottom. Now then, the reason why this particular system is different is because it doesn't have a pull switch down there to pull it off. There's no levers to pull it off. Um, but what you have got to do is just twist it. And once you get it in the right direction, it's usually about there, it lifts away. So as you can see now, this is a different type of Gvert type flush push button system thing. Um, completely different to the other one. Um, this one moves the arm up and down for different levels in the system so that you get it to the right height. And as you can see down there, a uh, different arrangement altogether. Um, but basically, when you get your new one, um, we just plop it straight back in. You can see the, the little plunger there. That... So just, just insert your, your, your gig work back in there. And you fill it drop in. You can fill it drop down and just pull the buttons round so that they're back in the, in the right position again. Okay, once you're back there, um, we can safely put the lid back on. I'm doing all this one-handed um, and the button should line up as before and um, you're back in business. 